Fur and substance painter. First, you're going to add two fill layers. Uh, set one to whatever color you want. I'm going to do red. And then the other one, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to do white. So, uh, you're going to clip the top layer and add a black mask. This is going to be used to reveal the white. Go to the paintbrush, select the brushes, and click basic hard. Set the spacing it down so it's smoother. And then you just use this to define where you want the fur. So I'm going to do this. Oops. Let me do this. Okay, so that's where I want my fur. And then you're going to select the smudge tool. And do basic soft. Reduce the flow between 50 to 70. Change the size, whatever you want. Reduce the spacing to like 5 or 10 to make it smoother. And you can also, if you right click here, you can create brush presets so you can save it. For example, I have my fur tool, tool that I have already saved. This will be good with a tablet, but you don't need it per se. And you're basically just going to smudge from the color you want out. So like if I do this, spacing does help with just making it look better. But it might take more processing. You basically just do this. You can start with thicker, like more pressure. And then you can use lighter pressure to get like a little bit more fine detail. And that's pretty much it for making fur. I really like the way this looks. If you um, just take your time, you'll figure out how the brush works. So you can get like, for example, this fur is a little bit more softer and this one's a little bit more defined down here. Um, you'll get to learn how the tool works over time. Um, and now that's pretty much it. The benefit of the fill layers is that you can change them pro retroactively. So if I want to, instead of red, oh, I want to make this blue. There you go. Do this, maybe not looking at it sprite. Um, and you can also add multiple fill layers on top with more masks. So if I want this to be like red, add a mask. Define where it is with this. Say it's right here. And then um, smudge or the soft brush. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So you can just keep do this. One thing to note, you don't want to um, you don't want to uh, excuse me. You don't want to basically cross with the fur or smudge tool. So if I do this, right, whatever. Um, but if I push over, it'll just make it look weird like this. So you see how it's like pushing the fur? You don't want that. Um, and that's basically it. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments.